How's everyone doing? I'll be doing a beer review of S'more Stout from Big Muddy Brewing Company. And if you've had S'more Stout from Big Muddy Brewing Company, definitely let me know what you think of it. And this is a very eye-catching and appealing design right there on the label. You've got a Bigfoot roasting some marshmallows right there, getting ready to cook up some s'mores. And this is a sweet stout, and it's 5.5 ABV. And on the side, it says, uh, from Southern Illinois, malt beverage brewed with natural flavor. And that's uh, where the brewery is, handcrafted in Southern Tier, Illinois. Yeah, very eye-catching. I love that label. Nothing on the top of the bottle cap, though. They could have put their logo or something on there. But looking forward to trying this out. Tried a bunch of different stouts recently. And I've never tried this one before, so it's going to be a first-time taste. Let's go ahead and pour it. Pours a dark brown, not quite black like I'm used to with a lot of stouts. You see a little bit of uh, ruby hues down there at the bottom catching the light. And about a less than a finger of khaki head. Let's go ahead and smell it. Wow, that smells delicious. Right up front you get chocolate and vanilla bean. Uh, it smells almost like hot cocoa. Slight coffee, slight roasted malt. That smells delicious. I can't wait to try this. Cheers. All right, right up front, I'm very surprised. It's a lot thinner than I was expecting. Uh, most stouts are bold and in your face. And again, maybe this is the sweet stout. It's a s'more stout, so it's you know supposed to be that way most likely. But uh, that did catch me off guard that it was a lot thinner than I was expecting. It has a smoky chocolate flavor to it. A little bit of hazelnut, toffee, very slight coffee, uh, vanilla bean, caramel, marshmallow. Again, a slight roasted malt. It's sweet, but not overly so. More of a mellow sweetness to it, no real bitterness to speak of, so in that manner it is balanced with the sweetness. Again, it kind of has like a hot cocoa or cocoa nibs kind of flavor going on here. The coffee flavor, which is usually more abundant in a lot of the different stouts, is uh, very subdued here as well. It has a creamy, sticky mouthfeel, uh, but again, I'm just so surprised at the thinness of it. I mean, it's not watery thin, but it's so much thinner. Uh, than any other stout I've ever had. Definitely the thinnest stout I've had to date. Dry finish, moderate carbonation. It's on the lighter side of medium bodied. I do like the flavor. It's not overpoweringly sweet like I was expecting it to be with the title S'mores Stout, which I actually do appreciate that because a lot of times they go overboard and it becomes cloyingly sweet and that's not the case here. But I want a little bit more umph from it. I think uh, it needs a little bit more body. It's a little bit too thin. That's my biggest criticism here. I think the flavor could use a little bit of a push too. But overall, I think the flavor really isn't the issue. More so the body and the, the thinness of it. This definitely isn't the greatest example of a stout at all. Um, again, it is a sweet stout with the s'mores. But that is... Yeah, just I can't get over how thin this is for a stout. There's some good lacing right there as well. The more I'm letting it warm, I feel like the more mellow the flavors get. The more mellow the sweetness, the chocolatey, marshmallow, s'mores flavor is just getting uh, more and more subdued. On the finish, you're getting more of kind of like a burnt chocolate coming out now as well. I'm getting a little bit of a molasses flavor coming out now too. I think the aroma here has more going on to it than the actual flavor. I, I like the aroma way better than the taste. The alcohol is masked very well. You don't really get any alcohol taste going on. Again, it is only 5.5%. Uh, it's velvety smooth, goes down very easily, and it does have decent drinkability factor. Overall, I'm going to give some more stout from Big Muddy Brewing Company a 7 out of 10. Uh, again, if this had a more fuller body to it, it wasn't so thin, I would give this a much higher rating, but that is my biggest criticism here, and that's what really holds this beer back. And if you've had some more stout from Big Muddy Brewing Company, definitely let me know what you think of it. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.